All right, here's number six from the AP Statistics 2021 exam for uh, administration number one. Um, this is the investigative task question. As usual, uh, if I have any mistakes, I'll try to put in the description below. And if you point out anything that I haven't seen or noted, um, please uh, leave a comment. Attendance at games for a certain baseball team is being investigated by the team owner. The following box plots summarize the attendance measured as average number of attendees per game for 47 years of the team's existence. The box plots include the 30 years of games played in the old stadium and the 17 years played in the new stadium. Compare the distribution of average attendance between the old and the new stadiums. Okay, when you do a comparison, there's a rules that we kind of what we want to summarize in terms of what's different between here. You want to compare their centers. So let's talk about the center. It's just I'm just going to label them out. That um the new stadium has a higher mean. Oh, sorry, median, not mean, median number of attendees. That number looks like about, ooh, 25, 25 what? It's uh, average number of attendees per game compared to the old stadium. Which has about 16 attendees per game. Um, let's talk about spread. The easiest thing to look at the spread. You could either talk about the IQR, or you could talk about the range. Just something about the spread of the data. I'm going to talk about the IQR, which is the Q3 minus the Q1. It has about a spread of four, and this is a spread of about four. They have a similar spread, similar IQR of about uh, four, but a uh, new stadium does have a larger range. Range being the largest minus the smallest, right? These, this, is, this range is eight, this range is uh, 12. Range, uh, 12 versus eight. Okay, any outliers? No apparent outliers. Well, I guess you could argue that maybe this guy has an outlier, uh, some extreme values, really hard to tell. No power, apparent outliers. And then I would say in terms of shape, um, the old stadium appears to be have no skew, has no skew. And the new stadium is skewed uh, skewed left. Careful on the direction because these are the smaller numbers here. If you were to like think of it sideways, this this is the left direction, and this would be right. Right is always increasing values when you normally plot it, so we would say it's skewed left because it has a longer tail on this side, and it tends to be more clustered up here. Okay, I think that's good. Um, following scatter scatterplot shows the average attendance versus year, old stadium versus new stadium. Compare the trends in average attendance over time between the old and new stadium. Well, an old stadium has, uh, looks like no association over time. It looks pretty flat. So for the old stadium, I would say it is a weak to non, no, um, associate no no trend over time with maybe a high degree of variability with a, lar a larger large variance larger variability the new stadium has a strong positive trend trend or association and I would say it's pretty linear, positive uh, linear trend over time. And uh, neither has any particular outliers and neither has any, any notable outliers. Okay, I think that's 
pretty much everything I would say. I can't think of anything else I would probably say. Um, yeah. Considering the fall falling scatter plots, graph one shows the average attendance versus number of games won for each year. Describe the relationship between the variables. Average attendance versus number of games won for each year. Mm, I would say strong positive linear trend. Positive linear association between number of games won versus average attendance or and average attendance. With no noticeable outliers. It's kind of weird. They want you to describe a trend on this one and a trend on this one. I I mean, I would I would maybe say go back to B and maybe just add in the statement that like um So like basically, I would maybe caveat here that, you know, more attendees over time. Or this one had no change over time. Because I'm wondering if maybe they weren't looking for the exact kind of the standard like association things that I just described in, in, in part C here. Okay, graph two shows the same information as graph one, but also indicates old and new stadiums. Does graph two suggest the rate at which attendance changes the number of games once increases is different in the new stadium compared to the old stadium? Explain your reasoning. Um... Well, while, while the old stadium is clustered lower, it looks like it's about the same kind of relationship. I mean, it seems pretty strong and positive. I wouldn't say it's necessarily that significant. So I would say they, they appears to be about the same. Um, the, the, rate, the rate of attendance, uh, ten, I mean, let me try typing it, okay, this is, Let's see, um, the rate at which attendance changes as number of games ones um, is about the same between the new and old stadium. The slope of the best fit line looks to be approximately the same. That's what I would say is like, um, they're in the same, they, they, like, I don't know, I, I would say the slopes are very similar. Maybe the news data is a little bit flatter, but from there I would say it looks pretty much dead on. Like, there's really hard to tell a difference in the slope. Okay, consider the three variables, number of games won, year, and stadium. Based on the graphs, explain how one of those variables can be a confounding variable in the relationship between average attendance and the other variables. Okay, um... Number of games won, year, and stadium. So one of the things you should keep in mind is based on this data, what, what are we going to say is, you know, like before we were kind of saying like, oh, the newer stadium is drawing more people. But also what's happening is you're winning more games in the new stadium. So that could be confounding it. It may not be the newness of the stadium. It could be the fact that they're just winning more games. And that's why attendance is up. So I would say that like... Um, I would say that um, um, it is possible that the new stadium. So, so there's a couple ways you can do this. I'm going to say that um, when comparing the new and old stadium, attendance is higher. But that may be due to the fact that um, more games are being won now, which is resulting, which is causing the higher attendance. And the newness of the stadium is just a coincidence. That's how we could establish that as a confounding variable. Alternatively, you could turn it around. You could say maybe they're winning because they have a new stadium. <laughs> So you could say that, like, um, um, uh, as an alternative, uh, I wouldn't put both answers. I would just say you would pick one of them. I would say, like, um, um, 
attendance is higher because they're winning more games. I think this one's a little weaker because I think the, the evidence is weaker for this, but because they're winning more games. But that could be due to the new stadium, which has, you know, better equipment for training. So it is the stadium that is causing the increased in attendance, not the not the not not just not just the winning the amount of wins number of wins i don't know something like that i kind of feel like i like the first one better in, in my opinion that's that's what the one that's more naturally comes to me because when you started off the problem you were kind of like talking about like oh look the new stadium so much better than the old stadium but in reality you break down when they start breaking it down like this you say like oh well maybe it's just because uh, the, they're winning a lot more in the new stadium than the old stadium, and that could just be a coincidence. Okay, so yeah, that's it.